Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm so excited to be working with the gorgeous Vintage Love Collection today. And I'm going to be doing some really simple mixed media techniques to create my project. Now this is the brand new Lace Heart Layering Frames die set. This is one of my favorite pieces from this new collection. You can just see all of the gorgeous different die cuts that you will be able to achieve with this really beautiful set. So really loving the frames, the hearts, and those little flourishes that are part of this as well. Well, it's just a really wonderful set that you can definitely use all throughout the year for many different types of projects. So loving that so much. That's the lace heart layering frame style. This is the vintage flora stamp. This is a red rubber stamp. So it stamps out just absolutely beautifully. Another one of my favorites from this new collection. It is just so great and it is just going to be the stamp that keeps on giving when it comes to your projects. This is a beautiful new stencil. It's called Vintage Flourish. It does create just the most beautiful impressions and I'm also going to be using the beautiful Mailbox Memos sentiment set. Of course this has a coordinating die, uh, die set and I just love this font. It is so unique so interesting and it just pairs beautifully with all of the vintage love collection. So I'm going to go ahead and start my process now and I'm starting off here with a piece of white cardstock and one of those frames from the Lace Heart layering frames die set that's going to create this beautiful scallop piece for my card front. I'm actually going to use some scorched timber from uh, Tim Holtz and Ranger and I'm going to be using this scorched timber to create the background color for this card front. So this is just a really unexpected color scheme I think but I absolutely love how it turns out. This color is amazing. I did not know how much I would love a brown before I bought this color. It is fantastic and I just really love how this looks when it's all finished and the different techniques that I was able to, to achieve using the new color. So I'm just blending on my ink here and don't worry I didn't get any ink on my white sweater so it's all good. Now I am going to go ahead and add some splashes of water here, some clear water just with a little brush and that's just going to create a little bit of distressing. Now a lot of this is going to get covered up but I just wanted to show you these are some of the techniques that you can achieve using the scorched timber and of course some of the dyes and the paper and so on. This is the Distress Oxide Spray and again this is Scorched Timber so it's tone on tone. Once that dries I'm going to go ahead with the Scorched Timber, sorry, um, the Archival Black Soot and I'm going to go ahead and ink up that stamp and I'm going to stamp all of those beautiful um, details from that, that stamp, that Vintage Flora stamp onto this gorgeous inked up background. So I'm just going to get a nice generous amount of this waterproof ink on here and I'll just give that a really nice press onto my paper and I'm just going to transfer all of that black ink onto that gorgeous scorched timber and voila it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love that stamp set so much. Now I have my little round gel plate out and you could use any shape of gel plate for this, any gel plate. I just happened to grab this one because it's about the right size for this heart. I've die cut that heart using that lace heart layering frame set and I'm going to add some scorched timber distress paint on there using a brayer and my gel plate here. So I'm just going to transfer that paint onto the heart in that way and you can just see it creates this really cool texture. And now I'm going to take some seafoam stencil butter from the crafters workshop. You can use any paste that you have in your stash. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that beautiful vintage flourish background stencil to create some really cool damask kind of texture on that painted background. And I love how those colors layer together. I think that blue and the brown are just gorgeous. So now I've gone ahead and cut another piece of white cardstock using again the smaller lace heart layering frames die. And I'm going to add foam onto the back of my inked up card front piece as I'm starting to assemble my card now using that My Sweet Petunia um, glue press here. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink up, or sorry, 
add some liquid adhesive to that foam adhesive and bump up this card front a little bit. So that's just going to give that some really nice dimension. And then I'm also adding this frame with dimension onto the card as well. So that white frame has foam adhesive on the back as well. And I also added foam adhesive on the back of the heart to add that onto my card front as well. So lots of dimension. You wouldn't have to add all of this dimension if you didn't want to. I just chose to because I like how that looks. Now I've stamped out one of the sentiments from the mailbox memo stamp set and that's going to be the sentiment it says sending love your way and I just stamped it out with black ink and then die cut it with a coordinating die from that coordinating die set. Now I'm just taking some white crinkle ribbon from my stash and some twine and I just love how this um, natural hemp twine is going to kind of add just that little bit of brown in with that white again. I'll just layer these two different um, ribbon the ribbon and twine together and tie a little bow. I will fuss with it a little bit off camera just because like nobody needs to watch me fuss around with attempting to tie a bow. I have to admit I'm not the greatest bow tire in the world but I did make it work and so I've just shortened up the ends and I've trimmed them off. And now I'm just going to add some of the beautiful winter pearl stickers in a really pretty white pearly white. And I actually end up moving that one up at the top, I think, uh, a little bit lower, but that is going to finish off my project. Friends, I have linked up in the description box below to all of the products that I've use, used today in my project. I really love how this turned out. This is such a great release. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Have an amazing day, friends. Bye-bye.